Hello, my dear students. A very warm welcome to all of you on the platform of An Academy. My name is Ramana, and in today's session, what are we going to study? We are going to study chapter number three, the little girl. Um, uh, that is from your <clears throat> Beehive book, the little girl. Okay, we'll talk about the chapter in just a minute. But before that, let me quickly introduce you to An Academy Plus subscription, which is a fabulous subscription. And uh, if you use my code Ramana10, you get a flat 10% off. Okay, so we'll talk about an academy subscription. There are two types of subscription, the plus and the iconic one. We'll uh, talk about that in detail. But before that, let me quickly introduce myself to all the learners here. My name is Ramana and I have been tutoring for several years now. I've completed my master's from Delhi University. And uh, we'll proceed with today's session now. Okay. So first of all, students, before reading any prose, any story, or even a poem for that matter, we need to know and we need to learn about its writer. That's quite important because that tells us more about the story that we are reading and that gives, gets, gives us a better perspective on what we are reading. Okay. So first of all, you have to quickly tell me who is the writer of the story. <clears throat> so absolutely. It's Catherine Mansfield who has written the story, The Little Girl. And I think we should know a little more about uh, Catherine Mansfield because she was a fabulous, fabulous writer and one of the most striking modernist writers of her time. So why do we call her a modernist also? Because she inspired many and in influenced many of her contemporaries and uh, the writers who came after her. At the same time, let me tell you something unfortunate that uh, she died at the age of, I think, 34. Okay. And she was diagnosed with uh, tuberculosis, perhaps. And she died at the age of 34. Uh, but in that short span of time, in her short career, she wrote fabulous short stories. And those stories, short stories have actually left footprints for others to follow. Okay. So some of the famous short stories that she has written are The Women at the Store, A Dill Pickle, Jane A. Parle Pass Frankes, um, Bliss is another very important and very uh, interesting one, The Stranger. Okay, so if you get some time, do read more work of her. Aaj jo hum short story padne ja rahe hain, wo hai The Little Girl. Ye ek choti si bachchi ki experience ki story hai and what she feels about her father what she what has been her equation with the father and how this equation changes okay so this is quite important you have to keep in mind that there is kind of a gradual shift in her mood in her temperament in her attitude towards her father so there is at one point at the starting of the story what do we see we see this girl the little girl to be in 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 a in a kind of a frightening situation when she's quite sure when she's when she's often intimidated by her father's presence as you all can see that she considers her father figure to be a to be feared and avoided she believes that he's somebody who is to be feared why so what are the reasons first one is that his he speaks his voice is loud Take it, a reason ye hai, that he speaks very loudly. Huh? Of course, we this is a gender difference, right? That pair, that male figures do have a kind of a very uh, not authoritative to uh, often times, but often strong. Like women are softer. Yes, they have a soft tone and their this their voice is often soft as compared to male. I mean, usually this is not uh, not stereotyping, but this is general. A biological phenomena or you can say that hai na? So, aisa hai ki unki awaaz thodi si loud hoti hai, thodi strong hoti hai. So, ye jab wo sunti hai apne father ko, so she's often intimidated by him and she starts kind of stumbling hai na? Stutter karne lagti hai. Wo haklana jisi hum hindi mein kehte hai. She can't uh, uh, speak properly in his presence. Thik hai? So, abhi starting mein kya hota hai? Let's quickly delving to, into the story or dheer dheer of story ke through understand karenge why she is frightened why she is scared of her father and how this perception changes okay so first of all in the morning when she came into her room and gave her a casual 
kiss she responded with good bye father so the father is quite warm and he is coming to her every day and giving her a good bye kiss and he is saying good bye and she just wants him to go away she doesn't want him to stay anymore and the moment he's stepping out she's feeling a sense of relaxation and a bit of relief right so she has a sense of relief as her father left the house okay now then what happens is that uh, when her father returns her mother asks her to take off her father's shoes so your mothers are often the link between the father and the daughter yeah the daughters they, they usually want you to talk to your parents to talk to your father particularly because she's also a parent right so she would always want to bridge that gap if you have with your father yeah this you will notice mothers are often kind of in a position when they often ask you or would want you to talk to your father yes and that is what she's doing she asks her to take off his boots she wants her to talk to her talk to him and uh, but then the father comes and when he asks her how was your day kezia what all did you do and did you have a good day were you a good girl did you behave like a good girl and she would say uh, i don't know and she would speak in a stuttering sound with a stuttering sound so what is that what is stutter that is she would not speak in one go she could not speak fluently because she was scared of him okay she became nervous so when you become nervous you start to stutter theek hai and she never stuttered with other people baaki ho ke saath to wo stutter nahi karti thi she was quite okay with other people he was so big this was her problem she felt that he's so big he's so huge his hands his neck especially his mouth when he yawned so all of these things kind of made her kind of <clears throat> get frightened of him thinking about him alone was like thinking about a giant okay so she often considered him to be a giant figure who is huge who is big who did not speak softly okay All right then. What happened? One Sunday afternoon, grandmother sent her down to the drawing room to have a nice talk with father. This is quite important. So I have taken this down from the NCERT textbook, बच्चों, क्योंकि ये पार्ट बहुत important है, है ना? तो ये पार्ट हम थोड़ा सा पढ़ेंगे. ये पूरा NCERT से लिया गया है. So on Sunday afternoons, grandmother would send her. She would ask her to go and talk to her father. because grandmothers are again those who want to bridge the gap between parents kehte tum kyun nahi baat karti ho apne father se jo baat karo hai na unke sath time spend karna chahiye this is all what they say okay so but the little girl always found mother reading and father stretching out on sofa aur jab wo ye sab dekhti thi to wo bada bore ho jati thi his hand to cheek on his face his feet on one of the bed best cushions sleeping soundly and snoring She would also snore. She sat on the stool, gravely watched him until he woke and stretched, and asked the time. Then uh, looked at her. Don't stare so crazy. Yeah, you look like a little brown owl. So this is how parents talk to their kids. Sometimes they they uh, give them names, right? But she was somebody who would observe him, look at him, and look at him how he's sleeping. so she was quite intimidated as you can see she was quite scared in his presence and she would often be very cautious and alert when he was around but often times grandmother and her mother would do things to bring them together and just let go this hesitation and break the ice basically hai na ye koshish karte the hamesha ki dono mein dosti ho jaye dono baat kare ye ye jo beech mein ek kind of hesitation hai wo na rahe One day, her grandmother told her that father's birthday was next week. अच्छा birthday आ गया अब इनका तो क्या करना चाहिए? She then decided to make a pin cushion. अच्छा इसमें बच्चों को बहुत confusion होती है कि मैं pin cushion क्या होता है? ये cushion नहीं है बच्चे. ये basically I'll show you. This is something like this, as you can say. Okay. So एक आपका cotton का कुछ भी ना uh, you know there is actually something that is stuffed with cotton or something. जिसमें आपके पिंस जो होते हैं ना पेपर पिंस उसे आप इंसर्ट करते हो पुट करते हो और इट्स आर कॉल्ड पिन क्वेश्चंस ऑल राइट सम नीडेड सम पेपर्स टू स्टफ सो शी नीडेड सम पेपर्स उसे कहा क्या सजेस्ट किया ग्रैंड मां ने कि तुम अपने फादर को पिन क्वेश्चंस दे दो क्योंकि वो क्या करते हैं बहुत सारा पेपर वर्क करते हैं स्पीचेस प्रिपेयर करते हैं तो क्या होगा उनके लिए बहुत बेनिफिशियल होगा उन्हें 
यूटिलिटी होगी उनके लिए ही विल बी इट विल बी अ यूजफुल थिंग फॉर हिम सो शी नीडेड सम पेपर्स टू स्टफ द पेन फॉर्स द पेन क्वेश्चन सो शी यूज अ फादर्स शीट ये शीट्स कौन से थे जो जिसमें उन्होंने अपनी स्पीच लिखी थी एन इंपॉर्टेंट स्पीच वॉज रिटर्न ऑन इट she told the sheets to stuff the pin cushion her father had written an important speech on the sheets and when he came to know about that he got very angry to ye episode jo hai bachcho ki bahut important hai okay remember this episode jisme ki father ko pata chalta hai jab wo aate hain ghar to he starts looking around for his papers and he could not find it and then he asks uh, her mother if she has seen it but she says that she has not seen it and then ultimately she gets to know that he has torn them and it was quite important for him hai na isliye dekho aaj kal digital zamana hai to har cheez digitally bhi rakhna chahiye aapke notes hain ya to kuch bhi of course hard copy hai it's good but uh, hard copy uh, destroy ho sakti hai ya wahan gum ho sakti hai to hamesha ek soft copy zarur rakhna chahiye theek hai he took a stick with her he took a stick and hit her aur usko wo stick se maarte hain and he scolded her also you know and ye instant jo hota hai in instance bachpan mein kya hota hai it, it hurts you when you get humiliated or when you get hurt it stays with you for a long time until you realize your mistake to bachpan mein self respect sabse zyada hota hai us time kya hota hai ki are mujhe kaise daat pad gayi mujhe kaise hmm abhi to mummy papa ko hum bahut casually kehte hain are mama kya ho gaya right but us time pe it's it's a big thing for you if you get mistreated or not mistreated i will not use this word mistreated because parents always love you it's just their um, you know mentoring their guidance that they have to take some steps okay so she he took a stick and hit her and uh, he scolded her also and she he just wanted to make her realize that this is something that should not be done she wondered why god made fathers okay so this there should not be an apostrophe mark over here it should be fathers okay Kezia trembled even at the sight of her father from then on. But iske baad she said, "What kind of creatures, creatures are these fathers? Why did God create them? What was their use?" And she would just think about it. And of course, his sight, uh, kind of, um, you know, even at the sight of her father from then on. So she was quite trembling. She was quite, uh, um, you know, uh, frightened even more. Abhi tak to darti hi thi, ab aur darne lagi. Now, ek aur. इंसिडेंट होता है बच्चों इसको इंसिडेंट्स में याद रखना जब वो अपने नेबर को देखती है व्हाट वाज देयर नेम्स व्हाट वाज देयर नेम इट वाज मैकडॉनल्ड है ना मैकडॉनल्ड्स थे वो लोग उनका नाम था थिंक दिस इज द स्पेलिंग मैकडॉनल्ड और मिस्टर मैकडॉनल्ड वाज प्लेइंग विद हिज चिल्ड्रन एंड ही शी स्टार्टेड वंडरिंग व्हाई हर फादर नेवर प्लीज चेक द स्पेलिंग वंस शी थॉट दैट देयर वर डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ फादर्स इन द वर्ल्ड ही हर बिलीव्ड she believed her father to be a sorry it's probably she believed her father to be a cruel person usne usse aisa laga ki uske father jo hai wo cruel hai brutal hai wahi ikloti aise insaan hai aise father hai jo duniya mein khelte nahi hai apne bachcho ke sath like she she saw the neighbor uh, mcdonald's mr mcdonald he was playing with his kids and was enjoying in the area in the uh, outside their houses uh, well actually it was his house but outside his house and she com- started comparing her father to him and then she realized and she said that my father is really cruel he doesn't play with us on sundays he's just relaxing he's just sleeping after a few days kezia's mother fell ill so now this is another episode hai na isko hum episodes mein yaad rakhenge bachcho to zyada easy ho jayega this is another episode okay so what happens then now this is the point of revelation matlab yahan pe ab usko revelation yani yani ki ek realization hoti hai sense of enlightenment in the sense of realization keh sakte ho jo usko pata chalta hai ki ha aisa jo main sochti aayi hu abhi tak wo sahi nahi dekhte kya hota hai let's find out after a few days kezia's mother fell ill her grandmother took her to the hospital kezia was left in the house with alice alice kon hai cook hai she had to sleep alone in her bedroom at night she had a nightmare or a nightmare bahut important hai is pe bhi aapka mcq aa sakta hai what did she see she saw that there was a butcher okay with a knife and a rope who came nearer and nearer smiling that dreadful smile okay so of course he was coming with a dreadful smile ek dravni hansi ke sath wo aa raha hai uske haath mein knife hai rope hai और अचानक से ये देखते देखते 
वो अचानक से जग जाती है एंड वॉट डिड शी फाइंड शी फाउंड हर फादर स्टैंडिंग नियर हर बेड देन वॉट हैपन्स देन द फादर लिफ्टेड हर एंड टूक हर टू हिज बिग बेडरूम एंड ही ले डाउन बिसाइड हर He was quite tired, so obviously he slept before her, and she was completely lost in her thoughts. The moment when the father took her to his uh, room, and he slept, and she kind of uh, what? What did she do? She rubbed her legs on his legs, and she felt a sense of warmth there, and she realized that father is not just meant to play, but he is somebody who gives us protection, who. brings living for us who is a bread winner of the family right so this is what she realized that he is warm he is caring okay he is the bread winner bread winner yani ki he is somebody who works for all of them right she thought that her father had to work hard every day aur ab usko samajh mein aa raha hai ki mere father kitni jaldi so gaye kyunki wo thake hue the Uh, when he returned, he was too tired to play with her. She thought that it was her fault to tear those important pictures, and this is a sense of realization that she comes across. है ना उसको एक realization होता है कि जो गलती है वो उसी की है father की गलती नहीं है she is the one who uh, has torn his important papers. she realized that her father was not a bad person. He had a big and loving heart, and from that day, Kizia's fear of her father vanished and started loving him. Okay, so ये portion बहुत important है कि कैसे जब वो उनके room में जाती है और वो उसे लेकर जाते हैं, she feels a sense of protectiveness. Okay, she uh, senses protection. Right, that father is not just a person who plays around with you or plays with you. Um, you know, in, in the field or in the garden area or in the lobby, he's somebody who's there to protect you, to provide for you. Okay, so she realizes that at how hard he has been working all these years, and how wrong she has been all this while. She felt that her father is cruel; he doesn't play with her and all of that. But in reality, he is quite good. He's a nice person, and he's a hardworking one as well. And it was absolutely her fault. to tore down his papers theek hai to ye sari cheeze bahut important hai ek bar main aapko fir se bata deti hu important questions kya aa sakte hain bachcho aapko is chapter ko episodes mein divide karke padhna hai questions aa sakte hain why did kezia got frightened uh get frightened in her father's presence okay why was she frightened ye pehla question hai dusra question kya ho sakta hai that what did what is the role of grandmother hai na what is the role of grandmother ye bhi ek bahut important question hai ki grandmother ka kya role tha ha unka role kya tha of course she was the one who kind of encouraged her and asked her to prepare a gift she was somebody who wanted to bridge that gap and uh, make her overcome her you know stuttering and problem of hesitation that she had with her father third one could be about the episode okay about the nightmare part ki nightmare mein kya dekhti hai kezia and how did the father come to rescue her okay so ye pura episode aapko dhyan se rakhna hai and of course the realization part Okay, yes. One more thing, which I missed. This could be uh, another the episode of uh, father scolding her. Okay, father scolding her, and with that, what all did she think of him? What all did she consider? She considered that he is a cruel person. Why did God create fathers? है ना ये सारी चीजें वो सोचने लगती हैं. but again after this there is also a part that there is a sense of realization that comes to her uh, when she is left alone at home and she realizes that her father is not a bad person he is absolutely amazing okay theek hai to yahan pe ye story khatam hoti hai aur iske kuch important questions hi maine aapko bata diye hain i hope sab kuch clear hu zyada kuch hai nahi lekin bahut important chapter hai isme ek uh, psychological transformation hai ya psychological kahenge ek bacche ki understanding ki baat hai 
तो थोड़ा ध्यान से कुछ भी बीक्यूज भी आ सकते हैं पर आपके अभी एम ही आएंगे तो एम के लिए मैंने आपको बता दिया कौन कौन से पांच से क्वेश्चन आ सकते हैं चले अब वी टॉक अबाउट अन अकेडमी सब्सक्रिप्शन द प्लस सब्सक्रिप्शन विच आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इज अ फैबुलस फैबुलस सब्सक्रिप्शन इन विच यू गेट टू लर्न लाइफ फ्रॉम द कम्फर्ट ऑफ योर होम्स एंड यू गेट अनलिमिटेड एक्सेस टू ऑल द कोर्सेज दैट आर देयर यू हैव टॉप एजुकेटर्स ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म यू हैव रेगुलर डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशंस एग्जॉस्टिव कवरेज ऑफ द सिलेबस मेंटरशिप एंड गाइडेंस आपको समझाया जाता है पीडीएफ भी मिलती है सारी क्लासेस की प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट होते हैं लाइफ टेस्ट सीरीज और कोर्स को बैचेस में डिवाइड किया जाता है लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द प्राइसिंग थिंग ओवर हियर देयर आर मल्टीपल कोर्सेज फॉर मल्टीपल मंथ्स सो सेवरल डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कोर्सेज दैट आर अवेलेबल ओवर हियर सो फॉर 3 मंथ्स 6 मंथ्स 12 मंथ्स 15 मंथ्स 18 मंथ्स 24 मंथ्स 36 मंथ्स 48 मंथ्स सो फॉर 3 मंथ्स इट्स फॉर 7500 व्हिच विल कम डाउन टू 6750 इफ यू यूज माय कोड Romana ten, okay. For six months, it's ten thousand, which will come down to nine thousand. For for twelve months, it's fifteen thousand, which will come down to thirteen five hundred. Ah, uh, for fifteen months, it's eighteen thousand. Similarly, you can have a look for twenty four months, thirty six months, which is for thirty two thousand, which will come down to eighty eight thousand eight hundred, and forty thousand will come down to thirty six thousand. What you are supposed to do is to use my code Romana ten, है ना? Romana मेरा नाम है और ten जब आप इसमें add करेंगे तो आपको टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट मिल जाएगा और ये किसके लिए है ये आपके प्लस सब्सक्रिप्शन के लिए और आइकॉनिक सब्सक्रिप्शन दोनों पे ये कोड अवेलेबल एज एन वैलिड होगा ओके आप अप्लाई करके ट्राई कर सकते हो एक दूसरा सब्सक्रिप्शन है आपके लिए उन बच्चों के लिए जिनको स्पेशल अटेंशन चाहिए पर्सनलाइज लर्निंग चाहिए तो पर्सनल मेंट और आपको मिल जा मिल जाते हैं यहाँ पे लाइव डाउट सॉल्विंग सेशंस होती हैं वीकली रिपोर्ट कार्ड मिलता है पेरेंट्स कनेक्ट होता है है ना स्टडी प्लानर मिलता है सारे बेनिफिट्स मिलते हैं अपने कैडमी के सब्सक्रिप्शन के ठीक है आप एक बार देख सकते हो ये पर्सनलाइज लर्निंग है यहाँ पे आपके लिए स्टडी प्लान होगा पेरेंट्स कनेक्ट होगा सारे फीचर्स होंगे और प्राइसिंग थ्री मंथ सिक्स मंथ ट्वेल्व मंथ फिफ्टीन मंथ एटीन मंथ ट्वेंटी फोर मंथ और थर्टी सिक्स फॉर एट मंथ की है सारे अलग अलग मंथ्स के लिए आती है आप इसको आप ई के थ्रू भी पे कर सकते हो और ये दोनों में आप केबल है सिर्फ प्लस में नहीं और ना सिर्फ आइकॉनिक में दोनों में आप ई ले सकते हो आई थिंक यू हैव टू टेक अ सब्सक्रिप्शन फॉर ट्वेल्व मंथ्स टू अवेल दिस एंड ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड विल बिकम ट्वेंटी फाइव टू हंड्रेड इफ यू यूज द कोड रोमाना टेन है ना ये कोड आपको याद रखना है और ऑफ कोर्स थर्टी टू थाउजेंड विल बिकम ट्वेंटी एट एट हंड्रेड थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड विल बिकम थर्टी वन फाइव हंड्रेड फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड विल कम डाउन टू फोर्टी थ्री टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड विल कम डाउन टू फिफ्टी नाइन फोर हंड्रेड देन द फोर्टी एट मंथ्स कोर्स विच इज फॉर एटी थ्री थाउजेंड विल कम डाउन टू सेवन फोर सेवन जीरो जीरो ठीक है तो आई होप दिस वॉज अंडरस्टैंडेबल एंड आई होप यू ऑल इंजॉय द क्लास पढ़ने में मजा आया आपके समझ में आ गया सब कुछ ये चैप्टर इंपॉर्टेंट है कुछ ही चीजें हैं जो आपको याद रखनी है Uh, you know the themes, the theme of uh, being frightened, and the sense of realization that comes. So I really hope that you all enjoyed the class and learnt the chapter well. Okay, don't forget to like the session if you enjoyed enjoyed the class and share it with all your friends. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So bye bye, everyone. Take care.